short, funny, fast, 30 to 60 second videos have invaded the internet, whether we speak about Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, or the good old Facebook. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to show you exactly how you can take advantage of those and start making money, exactly put money into your pocket and how you can do this without creating any videos. First, I would like to mention that in the last 12 months alone, I've been able to build or acquire a portfolio of channels with over 5 million subscribers. Again, only short channels, as you can see right now. And we've also been able to take a channel, a single source channel, from zero up to 10 million views in a single day. So the information presented in this video, guys, is coming from somebody who has actually done it, not just talks about it. With that being said, let's jump into it. All right, guys, for those of you who don't know, which I think it's not possible, uh, shorts videos on YouTube, basically, or TikToks or Instagram reels, whatever, are those short, like 30 second video, vertical videos that you see all over your feed. And basically what you probably didn't know or didn't think about is, is that there are two types of short channels, guys. Number one, we have original short channels. And number two, we have reposting short channels. The difference is pretty common sense with the original ones. It's just creators like you and me creating vertical videos and shooting them, scripting them, editing them themselves and uploading to the platform, which is not what we're gonna talk to about today. And second, reposting short channels where, where we simply take somebody else's content, we simply take original content and we simply repost it into our channel. And that's exactly how I'm gonna be able to show you guys how you can make money with those without showing your face or creating any videos. Now, when it comes to reposting, guys, you can do cross-platform reposting or single-platform reposting. What I mean by this is you can take videos from Facebook, Instagram Reels, TikTok, and upload them into YouTube. So then you do cross-platform or you simply take somebody else's, other creator or other reposting channel videos from YouTube and you upload them back to YouTube, that will be a on-platform reposting channel, right? And again, depending on the type of videos that you guys choose to make, if you make, I don't know, investing advice, that will be make money online or investing niche. If you post videos about celebrities, Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, stuff like that, then you would be in the celebrity niche. If you post about videos about luxury stuff or cars, Again, you're in the luxury slash car niche. Super, super basic, guys. I just want to basically give, bring you up to speed with what we're going to discuss here. Here, right, guys. Now, that you basically have an understanding and you have a couple filters to categorize and see source channels based on, what I'm going to talk to you about today is a couple ways of how we can actually make money and how people are making millions of dollars each and every single day with short channels because, honestly, it's pretty, pretty crazy. The main four ways of monetization and making money with YouTube shorts, especially reposting journals, are the following. Number one, the shorts create their fund. Number two, affiliate marketing. Number three, driving traffic. And number four, promotions. Very easy. There are a couple ones where you can sell merch or you can have your own product, but that's a little bit more advanced and we're not gonna cover it in this topic. But if you love to see videos about this, let me know in the comments and we will consider. Now, number one, shorts creator fund. We're gonna go a little bit in depth over each and every single one of them so you can kinda have a better understanding on what's possible, what's not possible. And I'm gonna say at the end, which one is my favorite. So make sure to stick until then. So again, back. Shorts Creator Fund, guys, as you probably know, this Shorts Creator Fund is just a recently introduced a YouTube program where YouTube has allocated a big, big fund to pay Shorts Creators in order to compete with TikTok and bring people into creating and watching Shorts, short clips on YouTube compared to other platforms. Now, as you probably figured out, the Shorts Creator Fund is for creators, not for people who are reposting channels. So again, mainly the people who are creating original content themselves, like this one where I'm doing right here, they're getting paid, but not to say, guys, I've seen dozens of channels, including my channels, my friend's channels, and my client's channels, where we literally get paid just for repurposing other people's content. And this can fluctuate anywhere from $500 to $15,000 in a single month for a single source channel. This is what I've seen. But the downside here, guys, you're basically, if you're doing reposting and you want to make money with the Shorts Creator Farm, the reason why I'm not the biggest fan is because it's not something stable. It's not something predictable. Because again, you can make money this month, but next month they can take it away. Because again, they can say, hey, you're reposting content and we have just re reviewed your channel. And it seems like you're not eligible for the fund, right? So again, this month can be, next month they can take it away. This is why I don't really like to start a short show and base my total income off of this because it's not really, really stable. If you want to risk it for the biscuit, you can definitely start it. Number two, affiliate marketing. Again, you are probably familiar with the topic, but you are not. What you're doing with affiliate marketing is you are promoting somebody else's products or services in exchange for a commission. Now, with affiliate marketing, guys, the more traffic you have, the better it works if you know what you're doing with a conversion rate. When it comes to shorts, YouTube shorts, you can basically tailor the videos to start making money with affiliate marketing in three ways. Number one, you can simply place a note at the end of the video, like, hey, check the link in the description to check this product, da-da-da. 
Second, you can make a 10 to 15 second integration in your video where you particularly talk about the program. And again, you link it to the description and you drive people there. And three, last but not least, which is the most efficient, but again, it takes the most time and it kind of hinders traffic away, is tailoring the entire video about it, right? You can make a cool sketch, you can make a cool presentation that features the product. So then again, most people are going to convert. You can do any of these or even a combination of them all. It's just a matter of testing to see what it works for you, what it works for your audience. And now speaking of audience, back to the niches, guys. You saw, I told you to remember, depending on the niche, uh, you're going to be able to promote different products and make money with different affiliate offers. For example, if you're in the investing business, biz up type of niche, you can promote make money products. You can promote eBooks, courses, learning platforms, whatever. And then you can go in JVZoo, Warrior Plus, Digistore and platforms like that, where you can find somebody else's offers. And you, again, you just link them and you get paid a fat, fat commission. Or let's say in the health niche, you can go in the ClickBank and see like eBooks, PDF, how to lose weight, how to sleep better, da, da, da. You link those in your descriptions if the audience is that they're gonna buy bigger commissions i would say guys this is a little bit more reliable than shorts fund because again you can control but again for this you need to have stability in traffic or at least growth in traffic for the for the sales and views to stay consistent because if you get 1 million views this month you might make i don't know let's say five thousand dollars in sales but if next month you only make ten thousand views your sales your commissions are also going to decrease significantly so again that's why i recommend a combination of all the four ways of monetization number three driving traffic guys i'm going to give it to you right now driving traffic is actually my most favorite way of monetization because i can imply a lot of leverage and actually this is the way i mean this is the reason why we started the the shorts that we have right now back in the year of 2020. what i'm doing and what i mean with driving traffic is using short channels as driving traffic top of funnel acquisition systems to direct the views to my youtube automation channels if you don't know what youtube automations are they're simply a decentralized way of making money on youtube where we pay other people to do the content for us and this is what my entire channel is about so make sure to subscribe and watch the other videos for more information on those now back into the subject what i'm basically doing guys i'm building short channels because it's very easy and youtube is pushing them a lot at least that's what it was back in the day now it became a little bit harder but again, it's still easier to get traffic with the short shows. And then we're positioning ourselves very better. We're positioning ourselves in the same niche as my YouTube automation channel so that I'm able to direct the traffic from the top, from the short channel, to my YouTube automation channel. And in doing so, I'm doing multiple, multiple benefits. The main benefits that I have with this is that one, I'm building a loyal audience because again, it's the same niche. I get free traffic here. I drive you to my YouTube automation channel. They're going to subscribe. So now they're in my audience. And second, I'm sure that I'm getting paid because my YouTube automation channels are monetized on YouTube. So regardless, I make money from affiliate marketing or a short creator fund, I'm redirecting them where I get paid. This way, as I said, I cannot worry about getting paid by short creator greater fund. I cannot worry about uh, affiliate marketing. We have not actually done that for a very, very long period of time because I know I can leverage my competition. But again, this is something that it might take a while for you to optimize the backend. And I want to have a quick, quick disclaimer here, guys. If you are starting a YouTube automation channel, or if you're looking to start making money on YouTube, I would not recommend to do this combination because it's going to take you a lot more time and a lot more energy than it took me and my team in the beginning of the year of 2020, where YouTube was pushing shorts like crazy to start and build a YouTube short channel. So again, if you're limited on time and especially limited on budget, I would much rather take the time and money that you would spend on a short channel to direct the YouTube automation channel to just focus on the YouTube automation channel and put all the time and energy into one basket because it's going to pay off much, much better. It's going to work much, much faster. And then when you have an access of cash, maybe you can look at ways of getting other source of traffic, maybe for cheap. But again, I would focus on one channel if you are at the beginning of the stages. And even if you have a YouTube automation channel and you are positive cash flowing, I would opt Optimize and I will use all the time and energy and money to put into that one channel, grow it as big as possible. And only then, again, only then, when you have a lot of time and you have a lot of energy and you have a lot of money left over after optimizing and after doing 100% in your YouTube automation channel, only then I will use the surplus to start a short channel. Because again, it's not very lucrative, guys. It can take time, it can make money. So I want to make sure that you don't waste it and instead focus on what's important. Now, number four, guys, promotions. As you probably figure, guys, you and me are not the only people interested in repurposing and reposting other people's content or doing YouTube automation or doing short content. So if you manage to build a quieter audience, let's say 5, 10, 20, 30,000 subscribers, depending on the niche, you're going to be able to start making money by promotions. What promotions are, are nothing else but doing the same thing that I explained to you before with driving traffic, but you don't drive traffic to your channels, but to other people's channels. For example, if you have a big, big short channel in, a, I don't know, let's say the health niche, 
people in the health niche with YouTube automation channels are going to start reaching out to you, start messaging them, or you can reach out to them and saying, hey, we can give you free traffic, we can give you exposure, and reach out to them to promote their channel, to promote their brand, to promote their product, and we're going to get paid anywhere from $50 to $500 per post just by driving traffic to other people's content, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. To sum it up, guys, I see short channels as being a small side hustle for people who have already established a cash flow YouTube automation channel. That's at least my opinion, because I think most of the people watching this video would just be better off starting a YouTube automation channel, making a couple thousand dollars per month in passive income, and then, but only then, starting a short channel to boost that. That's it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.